Welcome to this tutorial about Grass Valley Cello Composer. In this tutorial we'll go over the creation of a play clip template in combination with a clip format. I've started off a new project in 1080 50i. The first thing we'll have to do is to rename our default template to HD Play Clip. In order to do this we go over to the project plane on the right and right click on the template and press rename and rename our template to HD Play Clip. Now the next step will be to add a clip object to our stage. In order to do this we'll go over to the top left of the screen and press the Add Object button. And this will open the object library from Channel Composer. The object library consists of players and graphical objects. Players are things like animations, audio, clip, or a live player, and the graphical objects are things like a 3D box, a 3D cylinder, or a plane. In this case, we'll have to use the clip object. So if you press clip and highlight the first clip object, we can press OK, and it will be added to our scene. Um, you can also see that it is added to our template timeline and to the objects overview on the left. The objects overview on the left will show the layering of the graphic layers which are available in Channel Composer and it will give an overview of all the objects that are currently available in this project. Next thing will be to make our clip object full screen so we can play out a full screen video. To do this we'll double click the object and we'll have to go over to the transform section where on the bottom there is a button located called scale to fit screen which will rescale our object full screen size. This will make sure that our video plays full screen eventually on playout. The next step in this case is to add a scene parameter to our object. Adding a scene parameter is important in order to make sure that our object and the source of our object will come from an external source, in this case our schedule. So in order to add this scene parameter we'll go over to the file value over here and click the triangle next to the file value in order to add a scene parameter. In this case we'll go over to link to scene parameter for our file and press new and we can enter a name for our scene parameter. The name doesn't really matter, it's just for indication and for yourself to keep track of what the scene parameter is used for. So in this case we'll just gonna name clip and basically this is it for our first template. The next step is to add a format to this project for our play clip. So we can go over to the project overview over here and press the format button in order to add a format for our play clip and right click to rename it to CLP. Once we double click this format, the format editor will open and we can now start adding templates to our format. In this case we'll only have to add our HD play clip template and this can be easily done by just dragging it from the template overview to the format timeline. So if I open up my play clip template in the timeline I can see a few indications. The first one being the time mode. I can give an offset from start. I can set an opt out and I have my scene parameter available which we've just added to the clip. Um, in this case our timing mode and our offset doesn't have to be changed since our clip has to start playing when the event starts. So the only thing we have to do here is to add a reference to our clip scene parameter to tell the system where the clip is coming from. In order to do this you can right click the empty space next to the scene parameter and go to change parameter type which will show up a few parameter types and the one we will need is the dynamic reference and this is all you will have to do in order to create a play clip template in combination with a clip format. 